What is going on everybody? My name is Dylon57 and today we are starting part 8 of our Doom 2016 Any% Percent Tutorial Advanced Research Complex. This is one of the longer levels so I'm gonna try to break it down. There's a couple different routes we can take but I'm going to explain that as we go along. So it's at this point that we need to check our gauze cannon ammo. Uh, at this point, if you've done everything essentially perfectly, uh, you should have 65 to 50 gauze cannon ammo. If you have 35, then you can't do this gauze boost that I'm about to show you. But here, once we stop, we can't move until we stop. We're going to squeeze through this door just like that. And here, if you do have 65 or 50 gauze cannon ammo, you're gonna do a gauze jump toward these stairs, okay? Um, if you have 35, that means that you have two shots left on your gauze cannon, you cannot do this boost, and you will run out of ammo. Um, otherwise, you can just do a little micro-missile boost to get up here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to our pistol as we approach here, and as soon as we get a checkpoint, we're going to load checkpoint. Okay, This makes it to where those zombies get reset and they're not killed by that mancubus. It's very important that they are alive because we're about to do a GK clip. And I'm going to show you that. Okay, We line up here, about right there, wait for him to walk up, move, shoot him in the butt, and look about right here and we make it through the wall right there. The way that you know when you have to do that GK is the character, the zombie's character model is gonna kinda shift and you'll you'll be able to notice uh, a drastic change in its movement uh, and it's gonna kinda turn blue. So, let me do that again. Oh, hi bud. Right, as soon as he turned blue, I hit the GK, okay? Now I'm going to show you that again, but I'm going to show it to you in slow-mo. Alright, we approach. About right here. Turn around. Alright. Move out of the way. Shoot him. Right, and watch the zombie here. Boom. As soon as he stands up like that and he turns blue, we're able to easily make it through that wall. So now that we're here, uh, we can technically do a gauze jump or a gauze boost over here, um, but if you're low on ammo, you're not used to doing the shot, um, you can just walk and double jump, and whenever you clip halfway through terrain like that, um, it resets your double jump so you'll be sure to make it uh, pretty easy not a problem. And here there's two ways that we can get to the next section. Uh, I'm going to show you the rail boost first for checkpoint purposes. Um, but as far as getting over right there, that's, that's the place we're trying to get to. There's two ways. We can either jump on top of this thing or there's some invisible terrain right here that we can hop over slightly faster just to go for the invisible terrain portion. Okay, so if you're gonna go up to this section, you can just do a double jump, make it up there, and then double jump this way, and you climb up on the invisible wall. For the faster method, you just walk this way, looking about right here, jump, jump, all right? And you'll jump up, <laughs> or grab up. All right. And now I'm going to show you how to do the rail boost. The objective is to get right over there. So you'll jump down, and you can either gauze jump backwards, or you can just jump over. Doesn't save much time to gauze, gauze jump backwards. Uh, and we're going to come over here, all right? 
uh, ideally we would land on top of this thing let me show you that Boom! just like that we land on top of that guy and we're about to set up for a rail boost so we're gonna crouch and we're gonna line our cursor up right about here we're gonna stand up and we're gonna look about right here okay then we SW and we look toward this way okay and we land pretty easy let's try that again right curve around be careful not to go too far and land there we go okay so now we're going to jump down into the BFG room. You're going to aim between these two bits and again, passing through terrain, reset your double jump. So we're just going to jump down, do a jump, right? Then do a jump, boom, we made it down to the BFG, right? Jump, jump, and we made it to the BFG. Again, when you pick up anything in the game and it's in your hands, you have it and we're going to reload checkpoint in a different place than we just were um, like let's say you miss this trick or you just don't even want to go for this rail boost you hate it um, as soon as you get a checkpoint down where that gate is that blue gate you can reload reload checkpoint and it's gonna put you where we're about to be so we go ahead and we pick this up we have the BFG now and we load checkpoint okay and you can reload checkpoint essentially immediately as you grab the BFG. All right, so when you reload checkpoint, you're gonna be right here on the other side of this gate. Now, if you're not going for the rail boost, you'd land kinda on this corner when you get the checkpoint um, earlier, but yeah, we're gonna be right here at this gate, okay? And earlier in the tutorial series, I mentioned that there's an ammo pickup uh, in arc that will help you if you're low on ammo in this section that's right here you can just walk up and you can pick up this ammo and then move on to the next portion we, we load the checkpoint and we're going to take out our gauze cannon and jump from right here over to this haste buff okay so we're just going to jump half the time you can actually make it on top of this platform like 100% and uh yeah, we're going to pick up this haste buff, right? So we pick that up, we jump up here, and next we're going to do kind of a tricky jump to get up here. I remember it took me forever to, to get this right. Um, we're going to look down, and as we move forward, we're going to do a scroll wheel jump boost, okay? And double jump and grab onto this thing. move forward jump boom and we made it on top of that thing now my haste power up has ran out and that's never good you're going to have your haste power up until you get about right over there with the next steps um, so yeah normally you would have haste here and next we're just gonna jump up and we're gonna climb up these rocks okay climbing climbing boom and we're right here now at this part this is kind of a deciding factor um, if you went for the BFG rail boost and you managed to pick up the BFG great you don't have to do this part however if you had to reload checkpoint you failed you just don't want to do that rail boost because you hate it very that's fine too we're gonna brush up against this glass and then we're gonna jump this way Okay, and we'll land on a little invisible platform. And next, we're just going to do a gauze jump backwards. Now, this is really this is really weird because there's invisible platforms right here that are really hard to kind of gauge. It's going to take you a minute to realize exactly where they are. Um, but we're going to do a gauze jump, double jump, boom, and we've landed on these invisible walls. It's kind of about right here. Okay. And then we're gonna gauze jump up here, okay? 
I don't have haste, so it's a little weird, but we're just going to gauze jump up here. Walk this way. Gauze jump. If you have enough ammo, otherwise you can do a micro missile boost. And then boom, we're here at the BFG pickup. Okay. Show you that again. Right, we landed. Okay, ideally you'd land up there. Okay. If you have enough ammo, you can also do like a gauze boost back to this little platform here. But yeah, we're, we're up here. So instead of cutting this out, I'm actually going to show you uh, how you would do the section quickly here. Relatively quickly. <laughs> kind of messed up that gauze jump. All right. Just do a little jump. All right. And now we're back here. So if you didn't need to pick up the BFG, then again, like you did the BFG rail boost, uh, ignore that section that I just did. Uh, this is going to be the next part of the route. We're going to pick up the ammo from that glass, because again, glass and walls don't matter, all right? And we're going to kind of hop up to where we're in this windowsill, and we're going to pick up the chainsaw. The chainsaw is very, very important for later in the run, so be absolutely 100% sure that you have picked up that chainsaw. Very, very important and you get a refill on your gauze cannon ammo. Uh, it looks like I didn't get ammo here, that's because I'm using the trainer for infinite ammo for you know tutorial purposes, but yeah, that's that. Uh, and then after you get there, get done there, we're gonna look toward this middle tube, I suppose, and we're just gonna jump out into the abyss like that, and we're gonna grab onto a wall. Next, we're going to gauze jump backwards and land on those same invisible platforms. Our lineup point is going to be about right here. Right? And normally you'd have haste, so that would perform or act a, a little bit differently. Um, but I'm going to go through the whole thing later on. Okay? And uh, then we're just going to gauze boost backwards and land right here. Okay? So next, we're going to gauze jump, try to get a bunny hop there, jump up here, we're going to jump up here, and here we're going to line up kind of over in this section, it's not crucially important as to exactly where you line up, but we're just going to do a gauze jump, try to bunny hop this way, and now we're to the next kind of hard bit. Okay, I am going to go through this whole thing again at the end of the video, just so you can see exactly where I go and what I do. But yeah, this, this is the next tricky part. We're going to walk down this way, do a bit of a double jump, and we're going to land about right here. Okay, It's not too specific. Or precise as to where you need to be if you want you can line up directly with this corner here it's gonna be like this second uh, section here uh, but yeah this this is where we're gonna be now there's two ways to get to the elevator there's the elevator shaft kind of down that way uh, one way is slightly safer the other one is a cool boost that's really nifty uh, I'll go ahead and show you the, the slower strategy first because I, I remember I had to do this one a fair bit when I was first starting out. Uh, we're going to walk over here and we're just going to jump into this little corner. Make sure that you don't go too far because you will clip into this room and set off a whole nasty uh, chain of events. But we're going to get lined up in this corner. Okay. Ooh. It's not too precise, but I'm going to get lined up in that corner. We're going to look this way. And as we fall off of this ledge, we're going to swing our mouse toward the direction of the elevator. And our goal is to kind of pop our head in and out of the floor here. 
so we don't fall into the all of the crazy death triggers in this area okay there we go all right we kind of made it here now most of the time you're gonna try to not clip into this wall but if you do that's perfectly fine if you try to just jump straight down this elevator shaft you will be very sad it will kill you so we're just gonna kinda barely walk off and we're gonna try to hit yeah right there try to hit right there and land in this corner that'll make it to where the you know death trigger doesn't get set off and we're going to come right down here with that first strategy okay let me show you again. Right? And here we landed in a better spot. We kind of clipped halfway in there. And if you're inside that wall, it won't kill you. Okay? And we just head down here. So the next strategy, or the next trick, is to do a gauze jump or a gauze boost over to that elevator shaft so again you're gonna be lined up you know about right here you're going to look toward this little strut and then you're going to do a gauze jump do a double jump about right there don't double jump too early because there are a ton of death planes there but yeah you're just gonna be just like that here we'll do it again right just like that and we want to settle in right here now if we do land kind of you know in this section we just kind of walk backwards just a little touch and we'll land here ideally you wouldn't want to get the falling animation and yeah we go down here so to end the level we're going to crouch and we're going to look right here all the way up in this corner right here I call these birthmarks, but we're going to line up with the right part of the left birthmark and then go all the way over here to the left part of the right birthmark and let go. Sometimes you have to move just a tiny little bit, but yeah, that's the end level trigger there. So now I'm going to show you this whole thing again uh, so that way you can see the entire process. Right, walk up. There we go. Just like that. Easy peasy. That's the whole thing. And then we just hit the end level trigger. So that's pretty much it for Advanced Research Complex or ARC. Uh, my personal best split on this right now is 2 minutes and 24 seconds. So that's kind of where you should be aiming toward. That is also with that rail boost to the BFG. Uh, but yeah. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next one.